all of the episodes I've done so far have pretty much been small blasters except for the Hydro Cannon episode. And that wasn't even really a nerf blaster, even though it was by nerf, it was a water blaster. Today we're taking a look at the nerf Mega Twin Shot. My personal favorite Mega Blaster for many, many reasons, and I will get into it in, later in the episode. Anyway guys, let's get started. The Twin Shock released way back in 2017, four years ago. No, 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 not four years ago. Not, it was, oh. This blaster released six years ago, which is insane. I feel so old. But the Nerf Mega Twin Shock is my personal favorite Mega Blaster for many reasons. This blaster doesn't really have any specific variants, except it does kind of copy the whole format of the Nerf Rough Cut. It's a shotgun that's pump action, although this is a different type of grip that, in my opinion, is better than the Rough Cut grip. One notable feature about this blaster, it has the most buttery smooth prime ever, and that sounded really creepy, but look. It's so nice and smooth that, a, like, a toddler could easily prime this blaster. It's no joke, this is one of the best blasters I have ever seen as far as priming goes. To operate the blaster, you just take your Mega Darts and put it in the front barrels. This blaster can hold up to 10 rounds, and you just put in the blaster and fire. And you pull down the trigger all the way to shoot them two darts at once. And if you want to shoot one dart at a time, then you just pull down the trigger a little bit. One cool thing, this released the same time as the Nerf Regulator, and this was like the golden age for Nerf, because you got all kinds of really cool blasters releasing in 2017. You got the Mastodon, you got the Raptor Strike, you got the Regulator, and then you got the Twin Shock, which is amazing. But what can this blaster offer us in the hobby today? Well, quite a bit. It has a loads of practicality. The fact that it can be primed so fast to shoot really fast, it just works really well. You can space the shots. It's not really inaccurate and it performs really good for a Mega Blaster. I've won so many battles by just turning a corner and holding down the trigger and slam firing the shotgun. <laughs> yeah, it, it is amazing. It just is absolutely amazing. Now, for a pro game, it's not that great, but for a stock Nerf War, this is a monster to be reckoned with. I've actually used this as a secondary with a, with a sling, you know, kind of around my back while I'm using, like, the Spectrum or something, then I just pull this out and just rain fire on everyone in the battlefield. It is an amazing blaster, for sure. It doesn't really have any good mod potential, but it has really good potential as a stock for a stock nerf war. It's insanely fun to shoot. It's great for planking. It's great for a secondary shotgun. So it's really just amazing blaster overall. If you love the rough cut, you're gonna love this even more. What rating do I give it? Objectively, even though it's not pro level performance for a stock nerf game or like humans versus zombies, just the way you can mow down enemies with the slam fire, I'm personally gonna give it an amazing rating. I think this blaster is just totally amazing. A 10 out of 10, it is my favorite mega blaster. Well guys, thank you for tuning into this episode of the Nerf Archives, episode 11, and it has, it's getting closer. We're getting really closer to finishing the episode to the 15th episode. Stay tuned because we got another guest coming up pretty darn soon. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. My junk drawer, my junk drawer. So many things I don't know what they're for, but I won't let it go. No, I will add more useless little things to my junk drawer.